from Dolly Rage and I'm going to do my October favourites today and um, insert the usual oh my god can you believe it's November Halloween went by now it's going to be Christmas blah 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 I have a lot of stuff to get through and I'm not sure how much space is left on my memory card so let's get stuck in right so start with skincare and one of my real 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 skincare favourites not only from October but also from the past few months since I've started using it is the Neostrata Foaming Glycolic Wash. I would strongly recommend this to anyone who has problems with skin texture issues. Even if your skin is sensitive, my skin is actually quite sensitive believe it or not. Of course I would be inclined to do a patch test before you put it all over your face if your skin is sensitive but um, what I find it does is it just really effectively breaks down dead skin, um, unclogs pores, much more so than any product, even serums that I've used. Um, it's really, really good and you use it as a cleanser. I can't believe it works as a cleanser. I always thought you would have had to use serums to get the sort of effects that this gives you. It's just amazing and you can use it morning and night and it's been keeping my skin so clear, it's amazing. Another skincare item is the Vichy Idelia U. So this is the new um, eye cream from the Idelia range. That's how you pronounce it, I can't remember. Um, the reason I like this is because it's actually slightly tinted. So you can see it has this sort of silicone applicator. I didn't use it that much. Um, but it is tinted with a slightly pearlescent pinky yellowy sort of a salmony tone and I find it's actually really effective at illuminating the under eye areas and I tend to suffer from dark circles so that's really great to have that sort of optical illusion especially when you're getting up like I am at six in the morning and not getting home till late I got the dark circles oh yeah um so yeah really enjoying that the product that I thought was only available in Harry Nichols, but I've started seeing it popping up in um, chemists around, so I picked it up. It is the Dr. Paw Paw Balm. Now, this the selling point of this is that it has fermented. What is it? It's not mangoes, it's the other one. It has fermented papaya in it, and apparently that does something that has some good skin properties. I haven't actually looked into it so I'm not going to tell you any lies but I find the formulation of this is just really good for soothing skin. I use it around my cuticles, I use it on my hands, I use it on my lips. It reminds me a little bit of Vaseline but a little bit beefier than that. It actually does have petrolatum in it so that would be an occlusive agent. It also has aloe vera which means that it's a little bit hydrating. Then it has, oh it has olive oil and then it has the papaya. So it's really quite a nice product which combines sort of natural ingredients so it has natural um hydrating and also conditioning ingredients along with the petrolatum so vaseline um which forms an occlusive layer say over the lips so it's good at hydrating and moisturizing um but it will also prevent water loss so i would say that's probably why this is so good and maybe not so much the fermented papaya but if you know any more about this product than i do let me know and tell me why the fermented papaya is so amazing. Um, I've been loving a powder this month and I've been carrying it all around with me. I have quite oily skin and I tend to get a lot of oily breakthrough during the day. Um, but I don't want to use too much powder because it'll make me look cakey. Anyway, um, I absolutely love the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. Um, it's perfect, sort of straddles the fine line between mattifying yet making you look cakey. It also has a tiny little bit of coverage so it's good for sort of topping up your foundation in the middle of the day. Also has a decent sized mirror as you can see. So it's great for topping up uh, the rest of your makeup as well during the day. So yeah, really love that. And it's really sort of slim line. Um, so it's handy to carry around in your handbag if you need a powder. Sticking with sort of face, but on the makeup side of things, I have been absolutely loving the new Clarins Ladylike Autumn Winter 14 Collection Blusher. I'm going to just take out the brush. This is it here. So this is the shade 07 Tawny Pink and it did pretty much what it says on the tin. It is a tawny pink, but it is just a gorgeous colour to give just that little bit of dimension to the cheeks without actually looking like you're wearing blusher. 
so it's perfect for wearing to work and during the day it will go with any makeup that you're wearing it's just it's really it's just perfect it's a gorgeous gorgeous blush so i've been wearing that pretty much every single day actually along those lines from the same collection the kind of autumn winter ladylike collection i've also been wearing the lipstick from the range which is this one it is Rouge Eclat number 17 pink magnolia and it's pretty much in the same color family it is a gorgeous just everyday sort of um pinky browny sort of nudie color that would go with anything perfect for wearing in the office or for me in the lab so that i don't look too done up um and the formula of this is lovely it lasts quite well and so it's quite moisturizing so yeah absolutely love that particularly in combination with the blush they go really nicely together let's move on to eyes and then we'll go back to lips because i have a few more lip things but i have some eye things that are standing out to me right now and in terms of eye color you probably saw my last video where i've been loving all over charlotte tilbury and i've still been loving all over charlotte tilbury um i got the color chameleon eye crayon in amethyst and this color is just amazing it is a beautiful purple and it's so easy to use literally you just scribble it on your eyeball blend it out a little bit and you have like the perfect purple smoky eye so this would be gorgeous for people with pale skin and sort of green and blue eyes to really bring them out um absolutely gorgeous and um, if you want to see what this looks like i've been wearing it on instagram a few times so check out instagram you'll see me wearing it i've been wearing it loads it's lovely and it lasts really lasts quite well during the day actually in terms of eyeliner i have been loving all over the new physicians formula eyeliners and um, this is one of a trio of um one of those sort of retractable style ones and um, i can't believe how well this lasts seriously my urban decay 24 7 eyeliners don't last as well as this does um i find actually my urban decay eyeliners have been migrating under my eyes and up on top of my eyeballs as the day goes on whereas these don't they just stay put and the color um pigmentation is amazing um as you can see it's a apologies um as i predicted i ran out of space on my memory card so i had to go and take loads of videos and photos off my memory card on my computer and come back and do this so what was i talking about i was talking about the physician's formula eyeliners i was saying they're really pigmented they last really well um the only thing i don't like about it is they have this little annoying little topper thing at the end of it um i can't use these i don't know why but somehow i always end up just lopping the top off of the eyeliner it's the only thing i don't like about them i would actually prefer if they were in a conventional pencil formula or one of those fancy self topping pencil things but i deal with it because it's so good yeah next when it comes to eyes i have been loving two things in combination i have been loving the shiseido eyelash curler and the urban decay super curl i think that's what it's called yes super curl curling mascara now, this is just a sample that i got but um i've been using it for the past month and it is brilliant um you may notice that i no longer have eyelash extensions um i decided to well i didn't decide to unfortunately i don't have the time to go back and get them done anymore since i started my new job in dublin so i just had to do without them and go back to the old curl and mascara unfortunately my eyelashes are now poker straight um so they need as much curl as they can get um and these two have been really doing the job when it comes to curling and this mascara is really nice and deep black and it also separates lashes very well so loving these two together Mwah. i am still loving the gimme brow from benefit this is perfect tiny little wand that you can just lash through your brows in the morning you just go eh, 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 eh. done the one is so small that you're not going to smear it all over your face as you're doing it unlike the rimmel version and um, i've also picked up the new l'oreal version which has sort of a brush in between the size of the massive rimmel one and the teeny benefit one so i'll be doing a comparison post on that um i'm kind of hoping that i'm going to love the l'oreal one i haven't tried it yet um because this stuff is kind of expensive but 
it saves me so much time in the mornings and to be honest with you I'd be more likely to go out without my brows done than doing a whole filling in with eyeshadow thing in the mornings because I just don't have time and this gives me brows it does exactly what it says without getting it all over my face so I love it it, it gives me brows in the morning yeah love it right so we'll go back to the lips I know I mentioned the Clarins lipstick and then I move back to eyes but we'll go back to lips Um, I mentioned that I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner Pencil in my last video, so I won't go on about that. Love it. Um, I also mentioned this in my last video, but I didn't go in depth. Um, I've been loving the Maybelline Color Drama. I can never remember the name of this. What is it? Intense Velvet Lip Pencil, particularly in this color, which is lighted up. Um, and as I said in my last video, Orla from Makeup Over Mind has a blog post with all the swatches on it on her blog. So go check up check out Makeup Over Mind, um, but this, this colour, oh, the blah blah. This is my emergency red. I carry this around in my bag with me at all times and usually if I'm going to an event after work, um, I will put this on and immediately I will go from having spent the entire day in the lab haggard and wrecked to looking perfectly appropriate to go out in the evening. It is amazing. Um, so this is the colour here, apparently it's um, very similar to Nars Cruella, if you don't know Nars Cruella, where have you been living? Under a rock. <laughs> um, I'll give you another swatch of the colour, there you go, boom, gorgeous, just just gorgeous. Um, yeah, go out and get them, they're really good. Um, lips again, I've also been really liking the Revlon Colour Stain Moisture Stain. Now, these aren't so easy to apply, I have found. Um, I find that they can go on a little bit goopy and you get more colour in some areas and no colour in other areas. I find I have to kind of smoosh them around with my finger a little bit. But they're sort of like a hybrid liquid lipstick and gloss in that they give you really decent colour, um, but in a lovely glossy and what's most important for me with my dry lips, nice moisturising formula don't last the longest in the world you know for eating and drinking they'll kind of be gone but um what I love about them is they're just so moisturizing and they give you decent decently pigmented color at the same time um and I've been loving one of the really dark wine shades actually which I don't have with me because it's in the car because I was applying it going to the shop today I wasn't driving David was driving <laughs> um, so yes really do like those for people with dry lips who want a bit of color but also need moisturizing yeah you're gonna like these and last but not least pretty much the only color i've been wearing on my nails for the past month is dun 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 chanel taboo um i picked this up well actually no i didn't uh david picked it up for me this from last year in duty free and unfortunately it's a limited edition um shade from chanel and it's just the most gorgeous purpley complex color with like red and pink and blue and silver and everything and it's just so beautiful dark and vampy yet you know, when the light hits it it just comes alive and um, so i went on a mission to find dupes and i found dupes y'all i found dupes not one dupe but two and i'm going to have them on the blog soon it may even be on the blog by the time you're watching this if it is i'll leave the link in the description bar below but my favorite dupe of them all has to be the number seven gel look shine polish in galaxy and this is pretty much like nearly exactly the same as the chanel one um it's a little bit less opaque i find the chanel applies almost it's almost a one coater the chanel one it's unbelievable um but you know two coats for a decent coverage this uh, the first coat is a little bit patchy but on the second coat boom you've got chanel taboo on your nails seriously they are so close you will not be able to tell the difference so if you have one of those number seven vouchers go out and get this you need it seriously perfect autumn shade just amazing so yeah i think that's it um 
those are my favorites from October. Um, let me know what your favorites were from October. Enable me in the comments below. And if you liked the video, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.